Hello everyone on YouTube, Variety Stick, and today I'm going to be talking about the differences between the LG K20 Plus and the LG Aristo and Metro PCS. So we have these two phones, and a lot of people are going to be confused when they come to buy the phone. So this video should be helpful for those people. They are in between the LG K20 Plus and the LG Aristo. Without any further ado, let's find out. Before we start talking about the internal hardware for both phones, I want to just pay your attention about the design. The design in the phones, they're very similar where the buttons actually and where is the uh, charger cord, microphone, the aux cable, and all that stuff. You guys see that everything's very much similar, so no buttons on this side. The other side is the volume records and you have power button on the back for the two phones. But basically, the LG Aristo doesn't have the fingerprint, while the uh, LG K20 has the fingerprint and the power at the same time. So we have 13 megapixel camera for the rear and 5, and this will be very identical for the sensors. I'm going also to cover this in this video. So mainly the design, this kind of... Uh, kind of like look metallic but it's plastic the back is removable so you can remove the back and replace the battery if something happened to it or you can get a spare battery if you want same thing over here but the back of the phone it has a very uh, rubbery feeling it's actually rubberized plastic so soft plastic over here why this made to help you actually to have better grip for the phone so this phone is not very slippery phone like the LG Aristo so technically I have to use a case with this one because this will be very easy to slip out of your hand and you eventually break that phone another uh, uh, difference here the size of the screen so the design of the phones uh, they're a little bit different but the screen it's kind of bigger over here compared to the LG Aristo. We have 720p HD in both displays and you have a little bit more of the PPI because it's a larger screen so we have uh, 295 uh, for uh, the pixel density compared to the LG Aristo I believe it's 252. Not a huge difference because eventually you have 5 inch and 5.3 so little bit bigger screen so no LED notification lights when you receive a text message or phone call in both phone and both phone does support uh, USB mini 2 so we don't have USB C battery 2400 and you have 2700 the reason why this is a larger screen so it will consume a little bit more now let's move on on the internal hardware of the phones and we have running the Geekbench and here is the results we have 613 and 1671 this is very decent results uh, for the phone and the Aristo is 542 1524 multi core score and if we go down a little bit over here that will tell you it's a Snapdragon from Qualcomm and it's four cores four cores that mean a quad core processor is not octa core processor other uh, websites they have mentioned it's octa core processor but it's not this is a specific model it's the LG K20 plus from Metro BCS I believe I'm not 100% sure because even team of a website doesn't say that it say Snapdragon 1.4 quad core processor but I believe it's 425 same one that came with the LG Aristo. The reason why you guys see that score is different because we have two gigabytes of RAM compared to 1.4 which is give the phone a little bit better score. Now I want to talk about another huge deal breaker in phones or when you come to buy a phone that will be the memory on the phone. Let's go to check the memory in both phones. We go storage, storage and you will see that you have 16 gigabytes for the LG Aristo and you have 32 gigabytes on the LG K20. This is actually huge uh, difference between the phones. So we have double storage. I mean, 16 gigabyte is not bad, but in 2017, most of the apps has become much bigger 
than it used to be and memory card does help but doesn't help a lot because of the cache and the applications it stays on the internal memory so it's good to have good internal memory even if you are able to have SD card both phone up to 128 gigabytes for external storage which is good but 32 absolutely K20 has big advantage here for people asking about the software so we don't have any difference in the software so we have 7.0 7.0 this will be the nougat the nougat actually the latest operating system right now in the market so we have this in both phones very much features is about the same thing so we don't have also NFC for the LG K20 and we don't have it on the LG Aristo so you will get the same exactly experience for the operating system apps and features a lot of people in the comment they leave a the comments about if the LG K20 does support gyroscope yes it does you can just know this simply if you download sensor box for Android and this will show us all the sensors on the phone so very much the LG K20 has most of the sensors except the temperature uh, sensor and we have everything except the gyroscope and the LG Aristo and the temperature let's go to YouTube to confirm that for you for people want to buy the phone and they care much about this feature because this actually give access to people if they want to play Pokemon Go or they want to watch 360 content in the uh, Google Cardboard or any VR headphone uh, headset. So as you guys can see, you can just move as the way you want and the LG K20 has the gyroscope and this in my opinion another uh, brake dealer and this good advantage for the LG K20 over the LG Rest. Now I want to just move on on a camera application. I just want to show you we have 5 megapixels on the front in both phones and we have 13 for the rear and I don't see any difference between these two phones when it comes to the camera. Um, now I'm going to start playing the phone more and I'm going to start do my full review for the LG K20 Plus so hopefully in my video for the review I'm going to include some samples for people they want to see the performance of the pictures but just looking for the application we are not going to see any any difference so same sensor same application go to settings just like that we will be able to see exactly the same features you have HDR you have the resolution full HD we don't have 4k right now share it uh, or you can choose uh, gestures to take up pictures by voice uh, tag location grid symbol view it's everything's about the same same ratio same resolution and same sensor for even the fa uh, front facing camera it's about the same thing so there's not a huge difference here so if you're looking for a camera phone that's not gonna be a big deal for you if you want to spend less money and get a decent camera it's just better for you to go the LG Aristo and if you don't care about the other uh, main feature on the phone now I want to come to the conclusion of the video now the LG K20 Plus has a price tag 119 which is twice the LG Aristo now what you're gonna get more more storage so twice the storage you get the gyroscope and the fingerprint scanner so more security more storage and more RAM and bigger screen so if you think that it's worth it for you to spend it twice the price to get more storage more security more RAM so which is give you better performance and a gyroscope which is if you are interested to watch 360 videos and stuff like that absolutely the way you go will be the LG K20 in my opinion if you consider buying a phone and you want to get a decent device still $119 that's not expensive for feature and for specification like the LG K20 plus in my opinion this is really good phone for the price that was very much it for that video thank you so much for watching everyone stay tuned for more videos on variety stick subscribe and leave a thumbs up and turn on the bell in your phone to get be notified when I post the video. Thank you so much. 
talk to you in my next one.